All right, happy Friday, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, I've got a video coming for you tonight where I'm gonna teach you a little bit about uh, springtime, late spring, late winter, early springtime care of your blueberry plants. But I wanted to, uh, I'm on my lunch break here. I did a little quick walk in the woods. I wanted to kind of show you some stuff. I've been looking for a couple things here that I wanted to show you. So bear with me here. Uh, I'm gonna flip the camera and, and just kind of see if we can keep talking here. So hang on one second. All right, and I'm gonna try not to move the camera as much last time because Otto said I made him seasick and I apologize, Otto. Yes, I definitely, definitely need to get a gimbal. All right, so those of you guys who follow me on Instagram, you may have saw that post or maybe you saw it in my community tab about the lookalike to the fiddleheads. That is these guys here. These are called cinnamon ferns, and that's, that's what they look like as they start to unfurl, all right? These are not edible, and the way that you can tell these apart from uh, the ostrich fiddleheads is, see the, it's got like a fuzziness to it? The ostrich fiddleheads will not have that. The ostrich fiddleheads will also have like a groove that runs down the inside of the stem, okay? The ostrich fiddleheads are a choice edible. People really like to look for those. Now, here in springtime in South, Car South Carolina, in the Charleston area, uh, we, we have a lot of people out looking for mushrooms right now. It's actually a really great time of year where uh, we, people are out looking for morels. This is the time of year where we'll, you'll see morels, but I see a lot of questions on the Facebook groups about it. And you're just not gonna see a lot of them here in Charleston and Somerville. I've yet to find any. I am looking and if I, if I get one, I definitely will show you it on video, but there are other mushrooms here. There's uh, the wood ears, which you have seen in one of my videos. There's the uh, lion's mane. In the summertime, we're gonna get the chanterelles. So, you know, you never know what you're gonna see out here. Now, this here is something I have been meaning to show you, and I've been looking and looking and looking, and they finally came out of the ground. So let's get a good look at this one here. This is the muscadine grape leaf and it is an edible okay so the leaf actually it will get bigger than this this is just because it just came out of the ground the leaf is edible just like a grape leaf i'm going to show you what that the top side looks like and then there's the bottom uh, this will eventually get grapes on it and uh you know so you can as you're hiking around you can look for these mark your location come back in a couple months and you should see grapes on there okay the trick is getting to them before the animals do that is always the trick all right, let me show you one more here that, that I spotted. Sorry for the movement, Otto. Okay, this one here I I've been wanting to show you in the springtime as well. This is the Beautyberry. Now you've seen some of my videos and pictures about Beautyberry, which is I love. It's one of my favorite wild edibles. But I wanted to show you what it looked like before, the, before it starts to flower and before it starts to fruit, okay? So uh, this is pretty bare, obviously, because it's springtime and uh it is it will this will flower and you'll get those beautiful purple berries on there that are edible and they have medicinal qualities as well uh, some cultures say that it's it helps with gastro issues um, and the purple berries can also be used to make different colored dyes so that is let's get a close-up on the bark here i want you to really kind of see see what it looks like when it's bare okay because you want to be able to recognize these at all different times of the year right so this does does this have anything useful for us right now well not too much but uh we mark this location right either mentally or in your gps or on a map or something you mark this location and you come back and you check this later on in the year and you might some, find some wild edibles so those of you who are in the prepping community and the survivalist community you might say well this is you know find a place like that that's got a lot of wild edibles it's got a lot of medicinal herbs and maybe that's a location where you decide it's a possible bug out location does it have fresh water near it all right all right i'm going to turn you around again hang on all right so just wanted to do a quick pop in say hi to everybody i hope you're having a good friday i know everybody's been working super hard out there i hope that you get weekend off and you get to go out and enjoy yourself do something fun, spend some time with your family. You know, we talk about in the world of mental health, we talk about doing your three R's, right? So you've got to do your rest. Hey, Steve, it's morning there. Hey, you know, you guys are on a whole different world on the West Coast. Uh, so good, happy, happy uh, Friday morning, and I hope you're having a good breakfast. I hope you're enjoying some good coffee. So, um, 
on your weekends we, or, or whatever your days off, you know, in mental health, we, we talk about your three R's. So that's your rest, sleep, meditation, listen to some good music, whatever you like to do. Your recreation, so that's, you know, spending time with family, doing things that you like. You know, maybe you're getting out in the garden, maybe you're going for a little hike, whatever. And your responsibilities, so that's, you know, paying your bills, doing your chores, um, whatever else you gotta get done. You gotta get your three R's done on your days off, all right? Uh, the, tonight, I've got that blueberry video coming. Basically just talking about some tips and tricks for the, uh, you know, late winter, early spring, how to take care of your blueberries. Next week, I've got another longer foraging video coming out with a challenge for anybody out there that wants to take on the challenge for basically it's gonna, well, I'm not gonna spoil it. You gotta watch it, you gotta watch it. Um, so I appreciate Steve coming in. I know I saw somebody else pop in for a minute. I know it's Friday lunchtime. People are probably out with their friends doing, doing some fun stuff. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. If you're on tonight, if you're on YouTube, go ahead and check out that blueberry video. I'll check out some of y'all videos and we'll be seeing you around. Have a great weekend. Keep planting your seeds, keep stacking your silver. This is Prepping with Sarge. Have a good weekend, Steve. Good to see you.